a ray can be envisaged as a continuous line which starts at, at a point and then just continues in a certain direction. It's basically what a ray is and they're useful for line of sight calculations. So if I have a character and he's looking this way I can point a ray from his direction and to see if this ray intersects anything along the way such as calculating if he sees an enemy or if he sees an object of interest or any other use you can find for rays. I'm going to create a new file, Control N, go to my test template, I'm going to call this rays. I'm going to create geometry variable because I'm going to later use this in the simple update so I want it to be class wide and I'm going to create a sphere control shift i to fix the imports control space to find the constructor arguments Z samples, the number of samples we need Z and the radius and the radius. Okay, I'm going to, just going to say don't know ten, ten and radius of two. I'm not sure if that'll be too big, but I'll find out soon enough. Create my geometry object. Give it a name of sphere, apply the sphere mesh to it, set the material. Attach it to the root node, just like we've done so many times before. Shift F6. Okay. Let me just inc increase it just to 15. And also, I've changed the resolution since last time by accident. Untick vertical sync. Okay. And there's our sphere. I'm now going to create an arrow which will point in the direction of the normal of the triangle in which the ray intersects. Let's create a new triangle, or a new arrow, sorry, control shift I. I'm going to apply unit Z, mutation, the direction, and I'm going to make it two units long. I'm also going to set the line width to 3 and then going to create another geometry and call this mark. I'm going to apply the arrow mesh to this new geometry. I need to, I want to make a new material for this because I'm going to be changing the colour. And new material asset manager let's use unshaded again and to set the color of this to red oh well I'll use green why not and then apply the material to the arrow. Yep. Okay, in our simple update, I'm going to create a new ray. Not ray. Control Shift I to fix the imports, control space. I'm going to use the camera origin. So I'm going to be facing the ray in the direction that the camera is looking. So cam dot set look no. Get location, sorry. Get location and then cam dot get direction. If you remember from our camera tutorials, you should know all about this. And then go to create a collision results object. So collision results. Doesn't won't use any constructor arguments, control shift I. And then going to make the sphere collidable. 
with the array, store it in the results object, and then to say if there is a collision between this, we use results.size, it's greater than zero. And then going to get the cl closest collision result. The closest results to get closest collision. Because if you remember, array just continues in its direction and it will pass through anything. So I want the first thing it collides with. Control Shift I. I will then set our arrow to that location. So linking translation. Use the closest and I will use get contact point. I'm then going to create a quaternion to rotate the arrow depending on what the direction of the normal is. Quaternion, control shift I. I'm going to use the look at method. Point it at results. Get normal. No, not results. Closest dot get normal. Closest dot get normal. What is happening? Get contact normal. I apologize. The vector up is vector unit y. And then go into set the rotation to be q. And then going to add the arrow to the root node mark but then if there is no there is no ray intersection I'm going to remove the mark touch child okay. shift F6 to run it click OK as you can see We're getting an arrow pointing in a direction of the normal. Face away. There's no arrow. We're along. It's changing its direction. Here, there's a primer on rays. I'm going to continue rays for the next two tutorials to show you how they are also more useful.